All right, so I have four Big Mac meals. Will that be everything for today? Yes. Okay, that will be $136.74 after tax. Would you like to donate $2.69 to a trillion dollar company? No! Does that price sound crazy? Well, it shouldn't. In fact, that's a best case scenario. A single Big Mac could easily cost $50 in 50 years. As of January 2024, the average price of a Big Mac in America was $5.69. If inflation meets the Fed's target of 2% every year for the next 50 years, we would expect the Big Mac to cost $15.31 by 2074. We have Big Macs, we have Quarter Pounders with cheese, we have everything that I like. Unfortunately, over the last 50 years, inflation has averaged 3.96% while inflation on Big Macs specifically has averaged 4.78%. If history repeats itself, a single Big Mac could cost $58.75 by 2074. Welcome to the world of inflation. In simplest terms, inflation is an increase in the price of goods and services. If a banana cost $10 in 2003 and the annual rate of inflation is 2%, then we would expect the banana to cost $10.20 in 2004. But why is there inflation? Can't we just stop the prices from going up? Unfortunately not. And to understand why, let's take a look at why prices won't really go down. Deflation is the opposite of inflation. It is a decrease in the cost of goods and services. Imagine a car costs $50,000 in 2024, but due to 2% deflation, it will only cost $49,000 in 2025. If the price of everything was always decreasing, it would result in everyone hoarding as much cash as they could and delaying every purchase for as long as possible. This would cause the economy to collapse. Will that be everything for today? Today, that's my lunch for the week. Ricky here down at Ricky's Used Shit. We've got SUVs, cars, trucks, sedans, wagons, bikes, you name it, we got it. Come on down to Ricky's Used Shit where it is cheap today and even cheaper tomorrow. Let's pretend you own a business in the land of make-believe. Last year, your business had $1 million in sales and generated a profit of $100,000. If there was 2% deflation each year, in 10 years, your sales would now be $817,000. Your expenses have also decreased by 2% each year, down to 367,500. But what about your labor? If no one got a raise for 10 years, your $100,000 profit is now a $500 loss. This leaves you with two options. Decrease your employees pay every year or fire Billy. For now, you will fire Billy. Billy, you're fired. But eventually, you will run out of Billy's to fire and your revenue will continue to decline each year forcing you to lower wages until your business shuts down. Hmm, really nice work this year, John. Mm, b -b -b -aggressive. How does a 5% pay cut sound? So we know that long-term deflation could have negative effects, but why can't prices just stay the same? In order for prices to stay the same, every country in the world would need to agree on something.